outro cast. Leading into it, the first question goes to Jessica. This is a very interesting format in that it's three 45-minute episodes. Did you know outright that it was not a traditional feature-length thing and you want to do that kind of TV episodic approach? Yes. Um, I think we knew that it was a series right away and for a couple of reasons. Um, one is that there is a made-for-TV movie that this kind of centers around, and so mm -hmm. we wanted to kind of play with that format. Also, I think that this is a story that every step of the way kind of has like a strong left turn. And so the I think it like plays well into that idea of uh, cliffhangers, things that you don't expect next. And so it felt like that was the best way to kind of approach it in part because it like allowed us to be a little playful with that format. Ashley, did it take any coaxing for you to be involved in this project? Because obviously it's a very personal thing, to put it very mildly. Yeah. Um, no, not really. Uh, I think, you know, when I first got in touch with um, Andrew, who uh, he emailed me on Facebook, and mm. he was, you know, hey, I have this idea. You know, I thought it was a great idea. Um, only because, you know, people doesn't really know anything about what happened afterwards. You know, right. I know there's a lot of questions about, you know, what kind of, you know, kids and you know, does he have any, what's his life like afterwards. So it was, uh, it was more to help answer those questions for people because I know people do want to know those things. So it wasn't like I was having a hard time figuring out if I wanted to do it or not. I knew I did. It was just, I didn't know how people were going to take it. It's pretty much the one thing that kind of set me back on it. Right. Well, Jessica, putting words in your mouth here, my assumption would be that the hardest part of this whole project was condensing it into three 45 minute episodes. As in, you had so much stuff that you wanted to cover, so much footage, so much to talk about, so many people. Am I wrong about that? Or was that actually the hardest part of it all? Um, no, you're not wrong about it. I think, you know, at the end of the day, this is a story that starts in the early 70s and kind of continues on until today. And to me, right. it was really important that it was like, that it was all of that, that it wasn't something that just stops when Stephen comes home. And it doesn't stop when the things that happened with Carrie stopped, is that like, what I really wanted to do was try to make it into the full story and it, with the inclusion of the Stainer perspective. And so to kind of get that, and like that their voice and their participation really mattered. And so to get that all in three episodes, was a lot, but I also, you know, I think there's something to being lean and and not belaboring things. So it felt like the right amount of time. Uh, this question goes at Ashley. Corin Nemec was part of the film that we saw on television, but after that he wound up being the star of Parker Lewis Can't Lose. That's how I found out about Corin Nemec. <laughs> Have you been following his career over time or is it the kind of thing where you say, that guy was part of that film. I never want to see anything of him ever again. No, not at all. I love Corey. I did follow him. Um, I remember whenever I became more of age to like actually see the movie, the first thing I was like, oh, he was on Operation Dumbo Drop. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I remember watching that movie and seeing him and it was like, that was a movie that I really liked because it was on Disney all the time. So... Um, I just kind of associated him with that movie for a long time. And then whenever I got to see that, you know, he actually did play my dad. Then I kind of associated him with my dad. So it was weird at that age, you know, seeing somebody that played your dad in a movie being like an actual actor, famous person. I get it. Uh, Jessica, how much did you know? about the whole story, the news story and the movie before you started this project? Did you learn a lot as a result of putting it all together? Yeah, I think I think I learned, you know, I knew the kind of tent poles of the story, I think in a way that like a 
a lot of people my age probably do. They the made for TV movie. I know my first name is Steven was a huge deal when it came out in the eighties. And mm -hmm. so I knew that I knew some of the other things, but there's, there's a kind of a personal layer. There's a kind of like hearing, um, you know, so you just asked about Corin and like really the, the idea to include Corin in our version of this, I think really came from Ashley. Although I don't know Ashley that I've ever told you this, but no. it was like in hearing <laughs> Ashley say, you know, when I, when I see Corin, it makes me think of my dad. I know he's not my dad, but like, you know, he, he is a stand in for a, a father that died when I was quite young and he played him in this movie. And so um, it was that kind of personal layer and being able to like, look at these interviews that Stephen had done before he died. Um, and then thinking about, well, how do we get these interviews on screen? And so it was really, um, those were some of the things that I just had no idea about. Right. Is there a lot of material, and this goes back to you, Jessica, is there a lot of material that didn't make the cut that if there was ever, say, a DVD or a deluxe version that we could see? Yeah, I was really so interested in, and it's a lot of the series, I was really interested in the kind of like archive that I found that is the making of the made for TV movie. And not because it shows you necessarily how the TV movie was made, but mm -hmm. because it's this whole other kind of personal layer where the writer of the made for TV movie comes to this family and asks them from their perspective what their experience was like. And that then gets turned into a script that then gets turned into something that actors play that gets turned into something that's edited. But at the like base of it, there's these real people that are really telling you what really happened to them and, and what their real experience is. And I find that stuff endlessly fascinating. And I, I, could, I could just live in that material forever. Oh, that question came from, I was always the person that listened to the director's commentary on the DVDs. I like to hear, right. them, oh, that's my cousin in the background there. Right, <laughs> right. Of <laughs> uh, Ashley, uh, now you're, do you're doing media around this. So of course you're back in the spotlight, but are you allowed to say what you're up to these days? What's coming up for you in the future? Uh, yeah, so I'm just a normal person, really. I'm a property manager. Uh, I have four beautiful children. Um, I just work and do mom stuff. So uh, this is basically, you know, I just, I'm promoting, helping promote it just because I, I feel like I should be involved in this. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I wanted it to flourish. So that's what I'm trying to do is you know, just make it something that um, I'm involved in all the way around. That makes absolute sense because it is, in a way, the legacy. Most people are not going to meet you, but something right. like this is going to have a long life. So it's protecting your legacy in a way that you bless. So totally get that. Yes. And that qu same kind of question goes at Jessica. And then I'm going to let you both go. And that's what's coming up or is it really... This project is all I want to talk about forever. This project is kind of all I want to talk about forever. <laughs> um, I do, I am working on a, um, a new series, but this, this project really, like, really just... I was so I was so moved by kind of every layer of it. I was so moved by the legacy of Stephen, what he had done, like the real kind of details of what he had gone through and how he escaped. I was so moved by the people that he met as while he was living as Dennis and how much they really wanted to talk about him in part because they wanted his children to know so many things about him and that was really their motivation. And then I was so, you know, I was really so moved by meeting the family this family and so it's kind of it'll it's not gonna kind of go away quickly for me that is wonderful to hear on so many levels and thank you both for your time your openness and putting honest art into the world thank you thank you